Hey everyone, Shishank this side. I hope you all are doing well today and safe at home. As you can see on my screen, topic for today or the agenda for today is a new feature added to our EC2 instance by AWS somewhere around April time frame or last week of March, which is EC2 serial console, as you can see on my screen, which will help us to troubleshoot the instances issue during the boot time, the network configuration and other related issues, right? So this is, I would say, one of a good feature that Amazon has added to EC2 instances, which was not there earlier. So we used to like provision the instances, see the logs and all those stuff. Now, even if you try to reboot your system, you will be able to see what is happening in the background with the help of serial console. So this works basically on the serial port. What serial port is basically, it's a communication interface through which the information transfer in and out sequentially one bit at a time. So every time when the information crosses or transfers in and out of the system in a sequential manner, but remember it's one bit at a time. So that's where it works on the serial port. So we'll be going to have some pointers to check out with serial console, which is very important for us to understand. And then I'll have a short demo for you to understand how the serial console works because as of now it's not supported for all the region they are like a uh, few region which are uh, presented with this uh, opportunity with the ec2 instance it one of the major region is virginia that most of us uses uh, so i'll be going to show you how you can perform how you can enable the serial console because it is disabled by default so organization have to enable in order to use serial console so let's see the point of first it will help us to troubleshoot the boot network configuration and other related issues while provisioning the system. That is one of a good feature that we can uh, use with the serial console. Because remember like in earlier days before this serial console, you just, what you do, like you go ahead and configure your, uh, do the configuration and click launch, it will launch your instance. But if you, if something happens while doing the, provisioning of your EC2 instances something happens in the background which basically it shows uh, some configuration has been missed out so you have to provision your instance again in that case that's one case I'm talking about in that case what we can do we can use uh, we can connect from the serial console see what is exactly happening in the background and we can try to fix that from the background itself background interface right another case is like you have a running system it's rebooting by itself due to certain reasons, right? There might be some uh, cron jobs are running into the system, which is which is created in a bad shape and it's tried to reboot the system again and again. So with the help of at least serial console, we can see the logs in the background, what is happening and try to fix at the same time. So this is supported for both Windows and Linux systems. So serial console doesn't require your instance to have any network capabilities. So that's one another good thing that uh, you are not required to worry to connect to your serial console because th there is no specific network capabilities required to connect to your system via serial console. You can enter your commands to an instance as if your keyboard and monitor are directly attached to your instance serial port. As I said, with the help of your system, with, with your keyboards, you can just uh, try running your commands like uh, SSH into the system, uh, try to do a yum update or some specific update, install Apache or all those stuff can be done with the help of serial console. You don't have to SSH specifically to the system either via PuTTY or from your terminal. Serial console session lasts during the instance reboot and stop. So if you Basically, even if you reboot the system, you will be able to see what is happening in the background with the serial console. During the reboot, you can view all the boot messages from the start. Access to the serial console is not available by default. As I said, you have to enable it as per your requirement. So these are the few important pointers that uh, we need to know about the serial console. Now, in order to perform the demo, we just have to jump to our AWS management console. So this is my AWS management console. As you can see, I don't have any running system in this particular region. This is Northern Virginia. And let me show you. So if we scroll down a bit, we'll be able to see 
So as you can see, account attributes, we have a serial console. Now, if I go to other region, let's say, because even I don't remember what all regions are supported with the serial console. Let's go to Mumbai, which is in Asia pack. If we scroll down, we don't have any specific attributes for this additional information, documentation and all those stuff. So this is, uh, yeah, that's where the account attributes, as you can see, eBase encryption zones, default credit specification console experience. So we don't have a serial console supported for the Mumbai region. Okay. So let's go to Virginia. And if you click on serial console, because I guess I have enabled it. So you have to manage access, like giving a permission via IAM to the serial console for that. What do you have to do? Click on that particular account attribute on this EC2 serial console, click manage. And here you have an option to allow or deny access. By default, this checkbox is uh, unchecked. So you just have to click allow and update. And here we go. Our serial console is enabled for the system. Another important point to remember for the serial console that it supports all the Nitro base instances. So if your system is running on the Nitro base, you'll be able to enable the serial console connect for that instance. If it is not, then you'll, you might have to change the instance type if that is required from your organization. But it is supported only by the Nitro instances. So for example, R5 series or I guess uh, M5 is also there, M5A. So let's click launch instance. We will initiate Amazon Linux or I guess T2 Micro is also there. So let's see. Come on. Okay. So T2 Micro is not Nitro instance, but it's somewhere on T3. So first let's provision T2 Micro. Let me show you the error message that it will be going to show us. I will enable the public IP. Done. Add storage. Click next. Linux. Configure security group. I will use the SSH one. Review and launch. Launch. That's my key. Launch an instance. Click the instance. That's the only running instance in my account as of now. So click on the instance that you have. So let it change the pending status to running and I will be able to connect to our instance. So we just have to wait for few seconds, I would say. Here we go. Now click on connect. So what are the options that we are getting as of now? EC2 instance connect, which is again a browser based connection. So if you use this particular option, when you try to reboot your system, you will lose the connectivity on the browser. There is another one, which is sessions manager that I have already covered a demo on uh, sessions manager with the systems manager sessions. This requires SSM agent to be installed on the systems. SSH client, you just have to use your uh, pen key or PPK if it is putty and you'll be able to connect to the instance. The fourth one is EC2 serial console. Now, as you can see, this instance is not supported for the serial console to connect the instance using serial console. The instance must use the instance type built on Nitro systems. Okay. So what we have to do, let me cancel this out. Okay. Click on Linux and let me stop it. Right. We'll be going to change the instance type. I have done the demo on how to change the instance type, but you can see with this video as well. So you have to stop an instance while doing a change. Okay, it's stopping. I just have to wait for a few more seconds. So the instance has been in the stop state now. What we'll be going to do change the instance type for that go to instance settings change instance type let's do it with t3 micro i guess we have uh, the nitro base instance supported for t3 micro let's start the instance and we'll wait for a few more seconds to change the status from pending to running so that we'll be able to connect
okay perfect click on connect yep so t3 micro is a nitro instance and you can see like the error message or the info message has been gone from here now in order to connect click on connect okay this will open up a web-based interface for your Linux instances it will take bit of time now in order to perform few of the commands what we'll be going to do let's go to EC2 instance connect we'll be going to change the password for the user root or uh, EC2 user so my key it should be in downloads folder archive folder I believe no downloads okay let's see I guess yes perfect so we are connected let's do sudo now let me maximize this okay so let me change something uh vim it's etc ssh sshd config and we will do the authentication mode from no to yes uh, where is that password authentication from no to yes so insert mode click yes okay now in order to save it we'll restart this system ctl restart sshd okay let's see the status it's running and with the help of passwd we'll change the password for the root so let's give this a normal one test at one two three four enter test at one two three four perfect so I have changed the password for the root so let's go to serial console so let's, let's go to instance let's see connect serial console we'll connect it again this take bit of time to show you retry okay one session is already there let me show you what it shows when you try to reboot the system click on the instance instance state reboot yes let's go here as you can see it shows each and every event of the reboot stopping and then it will show you the start of the services as well and then we'll be able to log in so we just have to wait for a few more seconds as you can see reboot power down now it's starting up the services on the box each and every part so one of the good thing for EC2 serial console is like when we talk about troubleshooting so let's say if something happened to the system so it will go into the single user mode by default and it will allow you to rectify the messages or the errors that you want that you are seeing on your system right okay so let's see root and the password that I have given is 1234 we are done right so we are in root so we can do sudo yum update you can run each and every command from this EC2 serial console you don't have to log in via putty or via terminal using SSH those are are not required I mean again it totally depend upon individual to individual how you want to connect to your system whether you want to have an RDP from certain system or you want to have SSM because most of the companies also uses SSM to interact with the interfaces of the systems or you can have this EC2 serial console 
which will give you a browser based interface and help you to understand what is happening in the background so one place for all you have now multiple options to connect for your EC2 instance one of a good features again as I said one of a good feature added by AWS services so that's it guys for this particular video I hope this clears a lot in terms of what EC2 serial console is all about and how you can use it how you can configure it because it is disabled by default for all the regions and almost major regions has been enabled with EC2 serial console but not all so just try to play around with EC2 serial console and please do comment if you're facing an issue with this particular topic I'll try to reply back as soon as possible if I can if I don't know the answer for sure I'll google it out on uh, Amazon documentation and reply back with a answer which makes sense to the logic because logic remains same for all the services regardless of any cloud vendor or on-premise data centers so that will never be going to change it's just a matter of fact you need to understand what exactly is happening in the background so place out a comment stay safe have a nice day bye bye